This year is known as the Jewish Leap Year, Shana Muberet, with 13 months in this year versus the regular year of 12 months. The additional month that we add in a leap year, which is every two, three years, is the month of Adar. So there is Adar 1 and Adar 2. It's not adding a month that is self-standing, but an adding a month to the month of Adar, which to a certain extent, in certain areas, it's still Adar, the month of Adar, and in certain areas it's divided between Adar 1 and Adar 2. So one who was born or passed away, God forbid, during the month of Adar, and it was an ordinary year, not a leap year, when does one celebrate or and the birthday or where, when does one commemorate the Yotzite? So there are different customs. The Chabad custom is that birthday is mainly the second Adar, Yotzite is mainly the first Adar. Comes to Purim, so the main Purim is the second Adar, which is in a month from now, in four weeks. And this Friday is Purim Katan, the small Purim, which is it says in Halacha, in, in Jewish law, that while we don't read the Megillah, we don't celebrate the way we celebrate the regular Purim, but it is a mitzvah to add in food and in joy, and in happiness, and the Shulchan Aruch, the God of Jewish law, concludes, "V'tov lev mishtet It is a good heart. Is drinking, celebrating, or not drinking, but uh, uh, celebrating fest f uh, uh, the festivities are taking place tamid constantly all the time. In other words, this Friday, Thursday night, Friday, and Shabbos, which is Shushan Purim Katan, the day after Purim, is our 48 hours of additional joy that should affect and influence the rest of the year to be happy constantly all the time. Talking about joy, there is a law in code of Jewish law, Mishanichnas Adar Marbin Besimcha. From when the month of Adar comes in, we increase in joy. The Rebbe says this is referring to 60 days of Adar. Because from when the month of Adar starts, we increase in joy. We have the first Adar, second Adar, a total of 60 days, 60 days of joy, of additional and extra joy. Again, not only the 60 days, but these 60 days, and especially the 48 or the twice 48, Purim Katan and the ordinary Purim in a month, are added days that are meant to infuse us with joy for throughout the year. There is a famous saying, Simcha Peretz Gedder, joy breaks through all barriers. The Alter Rebbe says in Tanya, and we're studying it these days, that it is impossible to win a war, even if we are strong and we have great ammunition and might, it's impossible to win the war if we are not happy. If the one who is strong is going to, is in a depressed or sad, then the one that is weak will win the war if that one is happy. So winning a war is only with joy. Winning the war and the challenges of daily challenges that we have and, uh, when we wake up in the morning. Easy challenges, sometimes harder challenges could only be won and 
directed in the right way through joy and through simcha, which simcha poets gather, simcha joy breaks through all barriers. So also with our current war that our holy soldiers, our Jewish people are, fi- are fighting in the world, in Israel and in the world, could only be won with joy, with certainty, with trust in Hashem, that the end is going to be good. Dida Notzach, the victory will be ours. And God will be king. We start celebrating Purim, even if we are cut on, even if it's small, even if it's not the ultimate Purim, the joy starts now. Good Shabbos, a happy, small, a big, happy, small Purim. We increase in joy and joy will break through.